If you enjoy playing first person shooter games on your phone with the possibility to earn rewards, then watch this video till the end. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm looking at Matrix Fire, a game from the Matrix project or shall I say Metaverse. And before I start, please note I do not have any investment in this project. Now let's fire into it. What is Matrix Fire? It's a first person shooter game on mobile that serves as one of the games in the Matrix ecosystem. Think of it this way, if Valorant and Counter Strike had a baby, it would be this got the looks from Valorant but has Counter Strike's attitude since it is not a hero game thank god for that now before we look at the game itself let's understand the whole project or at least try to because it's a very confusing one for me like most web3 gaming projects matrix is also an ambitious one therefore they want to check all the boxes web3 ai and esports to create the next generation of digital entertainment platform super apps seem to be very popular in the east now i don't want to bore you with all the details so this is a good summary to quickly go over all the things they want to add a battle royal game an mmo fps game and matrix evolution as soc which i'm not familiar what type of game they are referring to please let me know in the comments and to twist things even more they are collaborating with nitroverse studio to release a card game called Castile, which i have no clue what it does or how it's played don't even tell me in the comments and why stop there in the future, they want to be a launch pool for other games too. And all of these were just on the game production side. There is the esports, IP creation, and AI side too. Which at this point, I think I'm looking at their brainstorming board and not the white paper. So let's first check out the game before we start dreaming. The game also confuses me. It looks decent, it plays decent, but it feels mediocre to me. Maybe it's because they reskin the Counter Strike Dust 2 map. It seems they really need user generated content. Or maybe it's because I don't enjoy F FPS games on mobile and I wasn't able to get it to work on my Android emulator on PC. But I'm sure some are able. To. And although they have more than a million downloads on Google Play, but many are facing issues such as connection issues, matchmaking issues, sign in issues, and so on. But from my experience, the first time I played, everything was okay. However, the second day, I could not sign in and had to use a VPN, which caused me to have a poor connection throughout the game. Yeah, that's the reason I lost don't think otherwise and i should also add without vpn i was only facing bots but when using vpn i was able to face real players which i regret since they handed me my bots however i have seen others complaining about playing against bots on their discord too so it's either a regional thing or something to do with your in-game rank or could be both the game also has a lot of menus and sub menus that i find a bit overwhelming maybe it's time for my generation to retire from gaming but what's even more confusing is the number of nft collections they have the main ones being you are the champion nfts matrix cuckoo nfts matrix 2061 pfp nfts and then they have the matrix fire avatars blueprints gene evolutions weapons gloves stickers sprays and more wait till they release the other games and although they claim the game is not fully released yet but the collections have done insane amount of volumes already some guy made twelve thousand dollars just flipping nfts in two days people could be buying these for the potential token airdrop speaking of the token they will have a max token which is the governance token for the whole matrix ecosystem that if i understood correctly will get vault allocation which is the revenue made from the nfts creator fee but the key point is the word net which means all the gross revenue minus the cost that we have to wait and see what they claim to be the cost you might end up owing them then they also have the released fire token which is for the matrix fire game and to be honest it's holding very well there is something about the eastern market that makes you want to learn mandarin and the fire token is used to open chests upgrade avatars and cast weapons all of which could be real use cases especially when you need high quality avatars to earn to wrap this video i'm deleting the game from my phone but that's because i prepare fps games on pc so i might jump back once that's released but if you enjoy such games on your phone i don't see why you shouldn't play it of course when they get rid of the annoying issues and implement earning with free fire game having 1 billion downloads matrix fire just needs to prove you can earn doing the same stuff and in terms of the token for now we have to wait and see since max is not out and for fire the game is not fully out but i will keep a close eye on this one because a flow of chinese players can counter the flow of token release plus they plan to burn some including the team's motivation now let me know what you think about this project is there anything confusing for you will you start playing this game share your thoughts in the comments thanks for watching subscribe if you like the content and one more thing even the team is confusing for me i could not find the real names or real past experiences but they have managed to raise 20 million dollars in funding bye